accounting cost center accounting cost element internal order these are the just a part of your product costing calculation because these are the we can say components we are doing this configuration for future product cost calculation so same data we are going to use in all topics and controlling fi in all topics are individual topics but in controlling each session is linked with another session so that's why i always suggest you try to parallel with me that means because if uh, if you use uh, if you if you are not do, doing the configuration maybe it will be difficult for you to get the understanding because each my uh, whatever the topic we will take it will based on the previous topic so it is linked so that's why it is better to do the configuration along with uh, um, along with the session okay activate cost center already activated i i mean uh, few configuration no issue. Like, if, you, uh, if you are having fizl configuration if you are having fizl configuration you can start working the controlling those okay, ar perfect. ap bank asset those are independent topics you can work in a different time but controlling for con to continue with controlling at least you have the gl configuration that's it okay good okay, thank you cost center accounting define the standard hierarchy So this is our standard hierarchy and this cost center we have created earlier just to continue with integration right now we are not going to use this one we will create this structure here create one cost center group k uh, KS, uh, ksh1 the t code create cost center define cost center groups create cost center groups Cost center groups we will take W100. This is my production group. Save it. Everyone, the present. Is that video available today? Actually, like after you, after we finish it, is that upload? Is that Sri Nivas uh, can upload that? Because I request him to uh, make it available to download, but I think he's busy somewhere. He did not no, no, I'm not getting it. You want the video should be uh, available after this uh, session. Okay, good. That's fine. Because I'm not uh, traveling right now, but whenever I travel, I need to. Uh, okay, I don't have. Uh, uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, it will take some time, almost uh, 30 minutes is required for the conversion. The file will be converted. It's not like immediately. After 30 minutes, okay. it should be there in the drive. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, I'm just telling like nowadays I'm not traveling. So, uh, but uh, I request Srinivas to make it available to download actually, because sometimes if I'm traveling, then I can see it and view it. So can you can you do uh, make a request to him, to Srinivas? I don't know, like, I think he's really busy nowadays. Maybe he, he did not uh, okay, uh, I will check my email or something. Uh, okay, I will check with him. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Cost center group. What we will take? Yeah. W hundred. No, no. It's already created. Sorry. W 200. That is admin. Save. I need to share the document also, configuration document. After session, I will share it. W300. Okay, thank you. Service. Okay, if you want to change anything, you just change it. Select. Okay, change anything. So okay. this group should part of or this should be we, we are going to follow this umbrella. So this should be uh, this cost center group should be under this cost center hierarchy. So go to standard hierarchy. Click here assign. Add the cost center group so you can let's say I, uh, I told you you don't want to continue with cost center group directly you can assign the cost centers also like right now how it is. Add the cost center group. So we are having 
this is the standard hierarchy and three groups production admin and service okay save it then different cost center categories are there so sap is providing different cost center categories like production admin service and some virtual cost centers also we are going to add here actually department is not there for cost calculation allocation we need to do this so you can see one category is also there cost center or allocation cost centers so why these categories are important because on the basis of category uh, different field settings of cost center will be uh, or it, the field settings will be applicable here so these categories we are going to use the standard category suppose you want to create your own category that also you can do okay cost center category you can do next I will create the cost centers so cost center you can create from here or you can create from the front end also Okay, let me create a cost center transaction code ks01 create cost center take the cost center what we will take w101 take the validity so if we are going to take the validity something and if you're trying to post some transactions before validity system will not accept so i will take the validity from this to infinity enter so valmat production one person responsible take anything cost center hierarchy production no uh, cost center it is cost center category yes production hierarchy production if you want to add business area not mandatory if you want you can add the business area also let's say this one this unit in this business area then add the currency we are getting one message profit center accounting active but no profit center specified it's because um, here uh, like profit center is active we activated all the business object that time but right now profit center we need to add you just ignore this message once i will explain the profit center that time we will do it leave it save you want to change the cost center case zero to change it this is one way you can create the cost center and uh, here from front end also you can create the cost center accounting controlling cost center accounting master data cost center create case 01 w102 production 2 same cost <coughs> category one hierarchy production let's say this is business area two currency save it okay so rest of the cost centers we will create in future when we'll require let me create from this category one cost center w201 change the category admin group currency save okay one cost center from this category w301 okay so this is your maintenance department category take as service cost center okay 
Now, if you'll see the standard hierarchy once, under this, two cost centers are there, production. Under this, one cost center is there. Under this, one cost center is there. So, in each category, we will add some more cost centers. Okay, so this is your hierarchy. So this is.